So what we're going to learn today is how to create a planet, a uh, lava type planet, just like the one that you've seen here. So let's get started. So first thing we want to do is create a new image and have it just as a square, 500 by 500. And then we want to go into filter, distort, oh sorry, filter, render, clouds. Make sure your colors are black and white, otherwise it won't come up properly then filter, render, difference clouds, and then filter, difference clouds, difference clouds, difference clouds. And then we want to adjust the levels by going into image adjustments and levels, and then just bring the white down a bit. And leave black there. Uh, just like that approximately then hit OK then we want to select uh, our elliptical marquee tool and then just while holding alt and shift click in the middle and just drag a circle just like so and then go select inverse and then press the delete key and go select inverse then we want to go into filter, distort, and then spherize. And then we just want to set it at 100%, hit OK, and then go filter, distort, spherize, and then select it at 50%, hit OK. Then we want to go into filter, sharpen, and unsharp mask, and then the amount we want to set up, say, at around 500 radius of 3.1 threshold of 14 and then just hit OK then we want to into image adjustments and color balance and then you just play around with these levels until you get the color that you're after so if you want like an orangey type color so we're just gonna move these around just like so so if you want to use these exact settings it's just these ones here which you should be able to see and then just gonna hit OK on that then what we do again is go into filter sharpen unsharp mask this time we're gonna change it to a bit lower probably somewhere around 300, 2 to 300 so we'll just say 27 um, pixels we probably want to drop down to say 2.9 threshold yeah we'll just leave that at about 16 it's 27, 2.9, 16, hit OK then we're just going to create a new layer, move the planet one above the previous layer, and then fill that layer with black using our paint bucket tool. Oops, control Z. Before you do that, you have to deselect the circle, then fill the black layer. Okay, now to add some final touches, we want to add a plastic wrap filter. So we go into filter, artistic plastic wrap and then just sort of play around with these settings to give you that sort of lavery type effect so I'll just use 10 8 and 8 so I'm just going to hit OK there and then we can adjust the blending options by right clicking on the layer select blending options and then select outer glow so it has a tick change the color to a orangey type color hit OK and then just change the size to however big you want it and you can like give it an inner shadow if you wanna sort of 
make those edges look a bit smoother and so that's basically it so I hope this is a bit of help to you thanks for watching